I knew I should have made a sacrifice today to keep it from raining. If you knew it was going to rain, why the hell did you drag us out here for a math question? If you call that a math lesson, just look at the board! <laughs> oh, but tough. That's what being a good teacher is all about. Putting your students through hellish situations for your own amusement. Now that the clouds are blowing away, you can all suffer through the hot humidity on top of being cold and wet. Ah, yes, it's going to be a beautiful day. Who are you? My name is Mr. Chip. I work for the American Federation of Teachers. A real teacher? That's too bad, because we're in Canada. <laughs> you have no power here. Oh, well that's a shame. Because you see, I was instructed by my superiors to give you a full state certified education. Whether you want it or not is completely irrelevant. You mean reading, writing? Arithmetic, science, history, biology, and other really important subjects to make us useful members of society? Oh heavens no. I'm only teaching the really important stuff. Like how to stay in university for years while wasting your parents' life savings, as well as changing your major multiple times per semester. That's beautiful, Mr. Chip, but unfortunately, Capitown doesn't have a real school. What a coincidence. I guess I'm here to stay. See you in class tomorrow. But, uh, um... But I don't want him to stay, he scares me! Attention, illiterates! Welcome to the first school in Cappy Town! Have fun, everyone! Cause you was on your own, we ain't lifting a finger to teach any of you! Sounds no different from any school I went to! Except you, you're the principal! No! Oh. You're the janitor! What? Just kidding, you're the vice principal. This makes my head hurt. So, uh, who's gonna teach us, wise guy? That's not our problem. This is a DIY school. Well, if you're so hell-bent on being official, why don't we have an official teacher? May I present Mr. Chip? Hey, he looks like a know-it-all to me. Ah, that's nice. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I look forward to giving your children the education and attention they deserve. The pleasure is all mine. Make the bad man go away! Make the bad man go away! At EDD Academy, the students suffer day and night, it's true. At EDD Academy, no, we can't escape a cool logo! Hello there, class. My name is Mr. Chip. I hope you brought your own pencils, nice and sharp too, because you may have to stab one of your fellow classmates today. Hey! What if a student has two pencils? Yeah, he'd have an unfair advantage. I'm sorry. But in my classroom, all students have an equally low chance of survival. I'm gonna like this school. Speaking of pencils... <laughs> Tiff? No! But he was poking Kirby! I know, Tiff, which is why you should have beaten him with your desk instead. But she was bullying me! I know, Escargoon, which is why you should reciprocate by becoming friends with her. Well, I reciprocate to you being a lousy teacher! Oh. <laughs> I had to get a cookie for that one! Vengeance shall be mine! I'm lashing out in fear! Very good! What? But I got you square in the noggin! Good, Dee Dee Dee, good. Kill her. Kill her now. Okay, class is over. You bet it is! I'm out of here! Mr. Chip? How come you don't punish Dee 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 for behaving like that? Punishing him won't help him learn. What Dee 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 could use is a bit of encouragement. You know, Tiff, Cappy Town isn't too different from another little village I've been to. Is it very far away? Not really. But you see, nobody lives there anymore. There was a great accident there because I wanted to follow my dream. To corrupt the nation's youth through the public school system. It makes me feel good knowing I can make a difference in a young person. I think you're the perfect man. I'm sure you're joking. But I mean it! Join me, and together, we can rule the galaxy! As man and wife. See you in class tomorrow! Why is my skin crawling? Five minutes later, back at the castle. Sigh. 
It's hard being a prepubescent girl in love. You do realize your infatuation with this Mr. Chip will probably bring death and destruction to the galaxy. Our cultures can't repel firepower of that magnitude. Look, just because I have a shrine dedicated to him in my room and I pray that one day I will have his babies doesn't mean that I'm in love with him. Careful, Tiff. Teacher-student relationships often end in tell-all books and awkward court hearings. Eh, either way, I'm waiting this out in my bomb shelter complete with Doritos, Parks Root Beer, and enough RTS games to last me till Armageddon. Or worse. Five minutes later, back at the castle. Sire, you're gonna be late for school. I'm a dropping out and starting an internet show. Hey, you know that's another episode. No spoilers. Time to see the enemy say this guy for no reason. Oh, back for more, eh? Why the hell did I let you guys install that school anyway? All we do all day is sit around and learn how to be convicts. Oh, that Mr. Chip sure doesn't move slowly, does he? Say what? I smell an M. Night Shyamalan twist coming up. Well, Mr. Chip isn't quite an honest-to-goodness teacher per se. Allow me to explain. Five minutes later, not at the castle. Hell yeah! No, Mama, I don't want to go! You're going! I'm late for yoga class! Mr. Chip's a bad man, but other than that, school is great! Wah! Now I'm sure he's not that bad, honey. After all, he's smarter than both of us. Now, who can answer this question? Yes, honey? I was just stretching. Okay. Now remember, if someone can get this right, I won't have to use the stapler today. Yes, honey? I was just stretching. You know, honey, if you keep doing that, I'm going to have to take you to the cafeteria again. And you don't want to go there again, do you? Do you want to go there too, Iroh? That's what I thought. Now then, everyone, take out your binders and place these unpunched test sheets into them. <laughs> DDD, you're just in time for... We went and doxed you on Google! Oh dear. He did in the real Mr. Chip! Uh, Mr. Chip, it's all true! Tell me it's all true! As a matter of fact, it is. Mr. Chip was a university professor. He was such a fool, kind, thoughtful, always wanted the best for his students. One day, I found out he was supplying his students with accurate but slightly outdated textbooks. I had no choice but to hit him with it. But once I realized he was dead, I couldn't let such a wonderful opportunity to corrupt young minds slip through my bloody fingers, and so I... You're the most despicable villain we've ever had in a long time! And that's saying something, because you haven't seen him without his Milky Wilky before bed. If you're going to be disruptive, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to give your parents a call. <laughs> and now, on to our next lesson. Mr. Chip, you need to leave. <sighs> I understand, Tuff. I really do. Well, time to move on to the next little village. <laughs> So, uh, is it, uh, is, is it over? Huh, yeah, and so are my dreams of world domination and youth enslavement. So, you doing anything this weekend? Oh, I forgot. I'm Netflixing Dragon Ball Z. Laters.